Hey guys, we're at the UFC gym in Torrance, California with fighter Michelle Waterson, AKA Karate Hottie. Now look, we know she's hot. She's a gorgeous gal. But just because she's easy on the eyes doesn't mean she can't whoop your ass. To prove that, we have three grown ass men, all different shapes and sizes, Michelle, to test your fighting skills. Okay. You ready to take them on? I'm ready. Not intimidated at all. Not nice and warmed up. She even smells good. So that <laughs> is an added treat. All right, Michelle, first up is Bradley Whitaker. He's from some small town in Maine. Okay. Probably never been in a fight before in his life, so go easy on him. <laughs> we do have a medic on standby. Bradley, why don't you come over here, sweetheart? Look how cute, he's got like a little angel face. Aww. Do you really want to hurt him? No, but if I have to. Well, you do. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, so Brad couldn't even walk back over. Are you okay, buddy? I I don't know. I'm I'm in, I'm in a lot of You're trouble. You're in a lot of pain, <laughs> yes. huh? I'm gonna assume you can it's at okay. least stand. My, that was tough, huh? My one testicle hurts. I'm sure all your friends back in Maine are gonna be really proud of you. Yeah, no, they're never talking to me again. Never. So let's take things up a notch. I'd like to introduce you to James. He's from Memphis, right. Tennessee, and he's a life-size Gumby James. Come on out. Oh, Don't yeah. be intimidated by these long fingers <laughs> and these gigantic feet. You can definitely take him out. I work with him every day. He's weak. He doesn't even eat carbs. He's weak? Yeah. Oh, no carbs. Gluten-free, well, dairy-free. He won't be gassy. I made sure of that. He's lactose intolerant. Um, so go ahead. Take it away. James, you walked into this gym today a cocky son of a bitch. I and I just feel like all your self esteem has gone out the goddamn window. True. You know? Do you even still have balls after that? Not really. No, no none whatsoever. Is it sad that I enjoyed that? Is it a little sick in some kind of way? It, it, yes, it concerns me. All right, I'm going to take things up. Okay. Ready? Ready first. Skylar, come on over here, sweetheart. Look at this guy. Look at him. I just want to squeeze those cheeks. Hey. Skylar, you ready to get taken down, buddy? Yes. You were talking a lot of smack before you uh -oh. came here. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, I could probably take her. He saw your photos. Like, She's tiny. I could crush her. Okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see. About you know, that but after. I must say this. He thought he was coming to make out with you. He didn't think you were going to take him down. Uh, I mean, that's what I was So told, that was how so. we got him in the car. Okay. But um, so yeah, he was a little disappointed. So maybe that's why he was so angry. <laughs> Take it away, Michelle. Skylar, you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm okay. All that shit you were talking earlier. Yeah, it just got thrown right back in my face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally, literally. Are you okay? Yeah. Think you're gonna be okay? I mean, dignity, no. Well, at least she took you down without messing up this gorgeous hairstyle yes. of yours. I mean, it's still pretty on point. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of mousse gel. Whatever that product is that you're mousse. using, yeah. I wish we had it for some good product placement here today. Michelle, we just watched you take out three grown ass men. Which of the three was hardest for you to take down? Uh, I'd have to say James. Life size Gumby. Yeah, he's so tall. He that, is so tall. You know. Those um, long fingers <laughs> kind of freaked you out a little. A little bit. A little intimidating. <laughs> well, we certainly know why you are a winner because you are a fucking badass. Badass indeed. Who are you rooting for, McGregor or Aldo? Um, I'm rooting for Aldo. I've always been a huge Aldo fan. I love McGregor, but Aldo's my boy. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. You're such a good sport. Thank you. Thank you for whooping all my coworkers' asses. Okay. <laughs> Secretly what I've been wanting to do all my life. <laughs>